For today's workshop, we are going to use the Construct 3 game engine. Uh, so the, this game engine is uh, online, so we don't need to download anything. Uh, there's also a free version, and it's very easy to use, that's why we choose it. Um, and for the art, we are not going to draw anything today, we're just going to use some uh, assets pack from the internet. That will make the life a lot easier. For the next workshop, uh, Taylor is going to show you guys how to draw your own characters and items uh, in the game engine. That way you can customize your game. But for today's uh, workshop, we are going to focus on programming. Uh, and the Arts Asset Pack is going to be a little bit easier for us to get started. Okay, so first, uh, let's open up Construct. So you can do this by Googling Construct3, uh, or you can just type in construct.net on your web browser. And after you open it, you should get to a page like this. So click Try it Now, uh, and then click Launch Now. And that will launch the Construct3 game engine editor here. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is register an account. So on default, if you click at Real Details, on default you only get 25 actions here, uh, 25 events, I mean, not action, events. Uh, and that's very limited. But if you register for an account, you can get more. So click here, click register. So you can, you can choose a username, choose the password, type in your email, and then click agree here, here, and then you can uh, create an account. Um, so after you create an account, you can log in here and type in your username and password. And I use a password manager to remember stuff for me. Okay, so click log in. Okay, now that we're in, uh, well first I'm gonna show you, we actually get 50 events out instead of 20 or 25, whatever it was. So we get a little bit more work with. Okay, so now that we got the game engine set up, we're going to download the Arts Asset Pack. So the first pack we're going to use is the Tiny Adventure Pack. So this uh, Arts Pack is basically have a lot of animations for us to use. So we get a character right here. Uh, so we get like a running animation, a idle animation, and then a attack animation. We also got an enemy to play with. Uh, so click here, click download now. And then we'll just ask you if you want to pay them. Just click no thanks. Uh, just click me download. And then you can download this one, Tiny Adventure Pack Dog Zip. After you click the download button, it will ask you where you want to save it. I recommend going to your desktop, uh, create a new folder for this class. So we are the, what? NASA Game Design Summer Camp 2021. Okay, and then after you go in there, we can create a folder called Asset. Assets. Okay. Um, okay, then I just save the file here. Okay, now the next thing we need is the terrain pack, the tile set. So this is for creating terrain uh, in our game. So scroll down, click this one, not this one, <laughs> click here, um, and just click no thanks. And then we, they actually give us three different versions. We have the normal one, a snow one, and autumn one. We only need the normal one, but if you want to have more options, just feel free to download all of them. Okay, now that we download everything, let's take a look at what we got. Um, so you can show folder. Remember, you can always go desktop, go back to where you saved everything. Uh, so first, let's take a look at the tile set. So you can see we get some grass, some sand, some ocean, uh, some trees and signs to work with, and here's a wall. Um, and if we take a look at autumn, it's pretty much the same thing, uh, except we have some trees in different color. And then this is the ice, the winter pack. So it look winter like. Uh, okay, let's take a look at Tiny Adventure. So right click on the zip folder and click extract all. And that will extract the everything in here. So you can see we get a character, we get a skeleton. Uh, so character one, character two, let's take a look at character one. We got attack animation here. Uh, idle animation and a walk animation. Uh, we also got a skeleton, which is our enemy, I believe. Okay, so let's take a look at the walk animation. Let's take a look at this one. Let's zoom in here. Okay, 
so you can see uh, an animation is pretty much just a bunch of pictures put together so you can see this guy this skeleton is just like go down up down so when you play that very fast it will look like he's walking uh, well let's take a look, look at the attack one from the, one of the characters okay so attack down oh well what happened there <laughs> okay anyway so you can see like he's swinging his sword uh, if you play this very fast it will look like he's swinging sword anyway now that we got all our assets uh let's get started on the next video so i'll see you soon